September 18th, 2002. We're driving up to St. Louis to see the two towers because we're a bunch of geeks. This will be fun. So, Sean and Matt aren't here yet. So, does that record on? Does that record on a, a tape or is it? Hi, Mom. Just like a memory stick or? It's hard to believe, but look, Matt Bishop is late to something. Oh my God. <laughs> We're getting this on tape because nobody will believe it. <laughs> Holy crap. 17 minutes late. There he is. Ding, 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 ding. Is he going to be navigator? I hope not. We're in trouble. Very nice. All right, bud. Let's start with me. <laughs> What'd you think of it, Sean? It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> All right, Mike. I thought it rocked. Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. Jeff, Jeff, tell us while you're driving. What do you think? Ooh, look at the cars. Ooh. It was awesome. Awesome? Oh, okay. Did. Okay. Awesome. Back to you, Sean. You have to come up with something original now. Oh, my gosh. Lip Tyler. Okay. Yeah, Tyler. Lip Tyler. Tyler. Yeah, I know. Why couldn't they throw her in a pool? I really yeah. like it. Here we are. This is why people should not drink and design hotels at the same time. Come up with something like this. Crazy. I did a double take. Steel cars. Here we are at the Cole Porter room. It comes complete with your own little sexy plaything. <laughs> scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Center, coming right down the hallway. And you walk along, you come right along here. Everybody is coming by from the convention center is gonna walk right by here. And off to the left is gonna be the entrance. Dunno. So we got like the best primo spot in the whole freaking place. And there's restrooms right over there. There's a lot of people be walking by here to get to the restrooms. The bad thing is this big ass pillar in the way. We can use this. And our room extends. This is the Hyatt. All the way. That's how big it is, it's all the way down to the end of there. All the way down to that plant. And by the way, this is the high. It's pretty schwanky. It's really nice because they got like a a food court down here. There's a McDonald's and stuff. Some other things underneath here you can't see. And, uh, thanks. Over there is a nice restaurant and bar. And then on the third floor up there, there's another bar. There's a place, good place to eat. Got a nice pool. Over there, you can kind of see some water running. So that would be a really cool place. It's like the higher or Milwaukee, it's all open. So this is what we got guys. All that room. We're not gonna use those doors at all. So we're just gonna use this one entrance right there. What I wanna do is build like a stone archway entryway. Put some signage, a banner of some kind along that wall, and maybe 
three standing banners there to direct them around this pillar. Two separate rooms. See up in the ceiling there's this divider that runs right in between. Comes down. And there it tees and you can crawl close off this smaller room. So you can actually make three rooms out of this room. Two rooms, but so what we're gonna do is probably is divide this room in half use this area here to marshal people. Have the entrance to the actual dungeon right there, kind of where that clone table is. And then usher them out that door when they're done. Use this second half over here that'll be marked off as like a DM lounge and place to kind of hang and store stuff, props and things. Whatever you want. We also have access to all kinds of theater equipment for free if we want fog machines, and video, lighting, sound. Again, you can see on the ceiling that you can divide this room into quarters if you wish, which we may do. May have them do that. Kind of help facilitate some things. But we'll see. So you can see those two entrances and we'll have a wall dividing them. They'll come in on what you're seeing is the left side. Stay there. Then the entrance to the actual dungeon will probably be right about here. So they're looking into uh, getting some large gray carpet. Because the stuff's just not dungeon y. Let's see what happens. Control panel for all the different lightings. So, and apparently there's a music panel there. I don't know much about that yet. We're gonna find more out about it. And we've got a phone handy if we need to call another con. So all these run on dimmers. So we can go and curl. And there's some spotlighting available too. Where we can spotlight. Spotlight like an item. Got various tables we can use for free. Plenty of tables. You can have these 
bunch of round tables. So, and then the lights are fully adjustable, all of those. We get complete pitch dark in here. The only thing we're going to have bleed from are the doors, and we got to leave the exit lights on, of course. But we can probably run a piece of tape right there and kill that light. So we should be able to keep it pretty dark in here. Um, we can even use that thing if we want, but I don't know what we would use it for, but who knows. There's, you can see spotlights, those are fully usable. And they are track lights and they will adjust them to point to wherever you want and then you can control them. So, and they're scattered at various parts of the room. As you can see, all right, I'm all the way against the wall. We're going to go one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-four. This is about seventy-five feet wide. Holy crap. And then so I'm saying it's probably hundred and sixty feet long. Plus this little alcove room here. Interesting. It's a walkway from the convention center. So if you mind coming here, and there are other events here. There's three floors of conference room. Everybody who stays here and everybody that comes here from an event is going to come right through the door. And they're going to walk right on our event. So, if we get around this pillar, we can have a really cool looking, maybe stone archway. This is something to the effect of, I don't know, we can do something. Unless we get this whole wall, we can put it, and I, I'm sure let us attach anything to it, but we can do some kind of freestanding pole. Not coming from the convention center. signage like that. That'd be a good place to put signs. So then we turn that way immediately and there we have the entrance to the life size dungeon challenge. Dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun. They said uh, we it's just as long as we stayed like in the carpet be fine. They don't care. They're really friendly here. <laughs> it's just why they're a convention city in Milwaukee, isn't um, We could put a whole big uh, sign-up booth thing out here and we wanted to do entrance to the events. And this is kind of down at the bottom floor for the big atrium. This is what they got down here. Took a food court almost. They got a pizza joint. And they got a Excuse me. Can I have photographs on this side? No videotaping. Alrighty. Front desk. And elevators. That's kind of interesting. There's a hot tub over there. I think you can see that. And there's a weight room over there. GCS together. Here's inside the hive. Fancy revolving restaurant on top of the hive here. 
the eagle's nest. Supposed to be pretty good food. This is Jeff's place. Genius. Buck out of five, Sam's. Fourteen bucks, Jeff. Going from the third floor down to the second floor, our man is. Give you any idea how big it is. There's the back of our ball. It goes all the way. This whole area is all connected with these walkways. This is the one leaving the Hyatt. There's the convention center right there. Think it's big enough? It's huge. And this is why Indianapolis rocks. They've got an actual downtown with like real places to go. There's a four-story mall, a big movie theater in it, a really nice one. They've got a big game arcade up there with all a bunch of virtual reality stuff. You can kind of see the name of it, game something. It's huge. It's got tons of restaurants. Also, across that walkway there, if you take it, you go to a really cool museum area, and there's a uh, IMAX theater. Huge, gigantic screen. Walking. I'm just joking. It's all right. First smiling face I saw today. The walkway we're going now to. There's this ass load of hotel there, a huge one. There's a big one right there. That's connected to the by walkway. That huge ass thing is the Hyatt. We just left. There's big hotels all over this place, all over every corner. There's the RCA dome. Colts play. Pacers. Lose a lot. Um, they're not using the RCA dome. So it's half a million dollars to rent it. <laughs> Okay. You see that roof? That is an inflatable roof. It's just cloth. It's all held up by air pressure with these giant fans blowing in. When you walk outside a door, there's this big gush of wind that comes behind you because of the air pressure. Pretty crazy, huh? Now we're walking across the skywalk. Yeah, you can look down here. There's another hotel, I forgot which one it is. And there's a few more down that way. Here's the map. Let's see. 
what's going on. Uh, give you an idea of the size of this place in uh, Exhibit Hall D yesterday or today they're having a monster truck rally. <laughs> That's with people and dirt and trucks all in that exhibit hall there. So, you know, it'll be interesting. This is freaking huge. <laughs> well, that's about a two city block long corridor that winds that way. This is one of the small, small. So what's going on here today? Hello. I'm just walking by. And Magic the Gathering tournament, pre-release for Legions. Cool. Uh, the artist Ed Beard Jr. did some of his card signing. Cool. Uh, Thanks. This is freaky or what? It's a Magic <laughs> tournament. There's some people in here or what? We got your vendors. I thought I could smell gamers, man. I came in the door, I was like, wait a minute. This is a freaking gentle. Two things quickly. One, for those of you who have not been to a pre-release yet, well, for everybody, do not talk to your friends about your deck while you're building it. That is not cool. Same for cheating. We will warn you if it continues, you can't be booted from the event. So it's up to you to build your own deck. Thing number two is, go ahead and crack your cards. Get to register in 20 minutes. Good. This is how a magic tournament goes. It's a sealed deck. They're filling out their forms. Get out of my space! This is hilarious, man. They'll be able to back people. Oh, there's one. Oh, this guy has his hand up. I think she's in school. There we go. Get your hand up. What are you doing? This is unbelievable. Two more things. If you make, and if you have an error on your sheet, say so you actually mark one thing, the wrong column, right. or the wrong card, I apologize for me, so we can correct that, you will not be penalized. The second thing is please open all your cards immediately so we can collect that trash and get it out of your way. It makes it a lot easier on everybody. It's pretty freaky that it's going on. Okay, and then there's like three, four levels of this place. And it just goes on and on and on. is going on here. It's hilarious ran into a magic tournament. Just as it was starting. Okay, like I said there's walkways going everywhere. All these different places. It goes to there's the Marriott up there. And then that's the Marriott the courtyard of Marriott. Which is supposed to be the fanciest one, but it's a couple blocks from where we're doing the event, so I think the hide will be fine. This gives you any idea how huge this thing is. OK, 
gamers. Definitely gamer. Definitely gamer. So hopefully they got lots of signage. <laughs> There's another event going on. These look like uh, insurance salesmen or something. I'm gonna try to go downstairs and show you one of the big ass rooms that they got them open. This is one of the big uh, common terms. <laughs> There's about eight of these. I mean, hopefully you can tell on the film how huge this thing is. This is one that has a monster truck thing in it. Unlike it. Shouldn't have any problem with rooms around here. Escalator came down, and there's a bunch of horrors. I met with a guy from Game Base 7 or something. They're going to do an event down there. They're really pretty psyched about it. Okay, this is. There's where we were, coming down the escalator. I showed you the big deal on there. Look down this way. And it's another couple city blocks long. This is how you get to the big, big rooms. Down the hallway, here's that entrance to that same exhibit hall again. I think this is probably where the big exhibition is going to be. We got a nice little food court thing going here. See people walking around in Taekwondo stuff. That'd be interesting. Oh, there's this little room off to the right. Kind of and I bluntly asked her, I said, why are we getting into these rooms? And she pretty much said the problem is with uh, Jenny. They're very, very, very strict on the events they have here, and <clears throat> she's worried about any kind of fog machines or fire or electricity that we want to use. They're going to nix it. So. Plus, we can't run it 24 hours a day. I mean, we can't have access to it 24 hours a day. They kick us out of here at 10. We couldn't, or at midnight, we couldn't do stuff to the event. So, I think we'll be fine. But the people at the Hyatt are like, what can we do? What, what do you need? So, they'll be real accommodating. Here's the next one down. One with D. There's where I came from. That's how long the freaking D is. This is hard B. See, this is B. This is behind the other one I showed you. And behind that wall, you can come down. There's even more. <laughs>
bedrooms everywhere. smell the diesel. I can smell exhaust. Got some kind of computer thing going on these. Bunch of IMAX. I guess it was in the RCA dome, I get confused on what she said. You can see them there. They're getting ready to have some fun. It's a monster truckage. Anyway, there's two more exhibit halls. There's G over there. I do hear monster trucks in half. <laughs> See them coming out of there. I can definitely smell them. Maybe they're using this as a staging area. What I'm talking about you. It's got a base like that, and then these tubes come up. And they've got them an 8 and 10 foot, so we'll just get an 8 footer. And then there's a cr crossbar. Hooks in that I can't seem to get. You can't see. Anyway, it's a crossbar that goes in those things, and those crossbars are adjustable, so we can make them like four feet if we want to. So we can make a four by eight grid work, and then just stick the substrate onto it. That's the plan, anyway. Act right there. So we would make a framework up and see this isn't the most sturdiest thing I've ever seen in the world. So I might be able to make something like a PVC. I'm at the convention center. I showed you in the walkway. Whoops. That's your hotel where we're going to be staying at. And there's the revolving restaurant, although it doesn't seem to be revolving right now. Um, so anywho, and right across there is the big mall, oops, nice camera work, right there is the mall. And finally we're back to the magic card game, here they all are, man you guys should go smelly or not. Staying to have our event. There's the walkway people would be entering to go. They follow that way and then they go wiggle waggle and then they go across there the street and right into the thing right in front of our duty. So should be cool. Thing of note in Indiana it is legal to smoke in most public places. I don't realize how much uh, in Illinois it's restricted to you come here and you smell smoke all the time. There's the RCA dome, if you can see it right there. 
here we are at the Hyatt, across the street in the parking garage, looking at it. There's the walkway that leads directly to us. The best place we do is we're going to park the truck right there. And we're going to unload and go right up the stairs. They don't have a freight elevator, so that'll be the closest spot to do it because we're right up the stairs. There's actually escalators, so it'll be pretty easy. I think you have to walk all the way down. Changing throughout the days, that was kind of that meant lawful, and then it's worn. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, so they were real clear. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody had the sun picked first, anyway. Stop. Stop right now. Like I said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like the. Uh, That's okay. You just don't need to do it next year. Oh. <laughs> Uh, and like the wind one said, that it always brings evil and it always brings change. Just that's yeah, great. That's right. New. So, <laughs> so that's what you were supposed to do. Oh, okay. Uh, nobody had no change. Nobody was that. So what was the right order? Chaotic. Lawful good and chaotic. Lawful good and chaotic. Lawful evil and chaotic. So the wind was when we <laughs> See, it seems so clear now. And it was just, <laughs> that was all you guys all right. you said you tried. Well, we'll start with the, with the awards TV presentation. <laughs> First of all, we have the <coughs> Hex War game. That was done by Rob and Tom. They've. Uh, uh, I want to thank them for uh, investing all that time and money in that really cool game and now uh, bringing it here and allowing us to play test it for him. The uh, third place winner, everybody give him applause, is Don. Well, I really don't get anything but congratulations. <laughs> Second was uh, Mike. And the winner of Hex War, Greg Martin. Hey. Oh. 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 You gotta come up, Greg, and get your uh okay. and they also donated a cool. nice cool t shirt for it. Yeah. <laughs> 
place. Greg Martin. <laughs> First place goes to James Stewart. Hooray! Right. The rat, the stupid rat. Exactly. He works. He's a brother. <laughs> Alabamians never get a break. <laughs> Next up is uh, Levon's Mech Warrior event. Uh, Place was Andy. Hey! <laughs> Second place was Dr. McCain. Yeah. Hey. Third place for the Mech Warrior event what goes to Mr. John Foth. Yeah.
grab a 50 foot rope by the end, tie it onto a chimney, and jump off a 30 foot. <laughs> <laughs> Worked really well that time. Uh, a lot, again, there were a lot of things that we could uh, nominate here, but I think the best one was the guy that <clears throat> fell in the pit. <laughs> he knew it was there. <laughs> and he did. He'll forget it. You <laughs> earned that, Andy. Yeah. What if he doesn't show up again? <laughs> now he has to. Yeah, now I have to. Right. I'm in my house for one of these <laughs> Okay, next up is a multi round regent tournament. Um, we use so many rules this year. Next year, I promise I'll actually write them up and TDF them. I'll send them to everybody over email so you guys know what they are. Um, third place was Andy. But it's almost empty too. <laughs> Second place in the Mech Warrior multi round tournament goes to Lee Crash Vaughn. Yeah. Don Bannis suggested 